Colorado is expected to grow by nearly 2 million people over the next 20 years. Half are likely to be in the Denver Boulder area. Everywhere you look right now, the city is changing dramatically. Our Alan Janae tonight has a sky high look into our city's future. Up we go in a series of ladders climbing into the crane that towers over the tallest building in Denver in 30 years. Where crane operator Rudy Marquez works. It's been a pleasure to build this one. Yeah, this was a fun job, real, real neat job. He's over 1144 15th Street, a unique looking 40 story top end Class A office tower. Dave Kleba is VP for the developer, Texas based Heinz. Denver is still a hot city for years to come, decades to come. Yeah, I mean, obviously the cat's out of the bag. The limit is not the sky, it's room on the ground. There's still a ton of opportunity for growth infill this way that we look. Many talk about wanting an iconic big building. Brad Buchanan is the city's vision guy as head of planning and development. Well, I hope we're building an iconic city. Developers said to be considering an 80 or 90 story tower have yet to go to the city with plans. It's possible, but the city's rules effectively make tall tough. That's because of a formula that requires a big footprint for a tall building. But Buchanan believes in a bigger downtown. He also sees more growth up through Rhino and Brighton Boulevard. You can look to uh, North Denver, I think. We'll see more growth there, obviously, with the station at the National Western opening there. Certainly, we'll see some development and contextual development around that area. More development near transit, like the boom along Welton now and the Elitches site. Obviously, that's a huge opportunity site right next to the core of downtown, right next to transit. What's different is how the city is designed. It's all about reshaping our focus, which we've had for years, but really formalizing our new focus on moving people, not cars. The woman behind the city's renaissance with Larimer Square and Union Station projects, Dana Crawford, sees it too. Would you like to see this area or Larimer Square without cars? Well, it's a matter of timing. Years out, but with autonomous cars and mass transit, cities like Denver may one day close streets. I think this around here will become kind of an auto-free zone. She hopes for good design, keeping historic structures, and yes. So I think that some of our laws could allow some buildings to be taller. A city that keeps rising while growing. Best site ever. In Denver, Alan Janae covering Colorado first. Quite the view. The always interesting Dana Crawford has a lot to say about where things are going. You'll find more of her interview with Alan in the article at our website, cbsdenver.com.